based on what we have for crosswalk already, um, I just didn't want to have crosswalk at every, you know, intersection. So this is almost skipping at every other one. And uh, at St. Jerome, it's just such a bad turn in the road that I, I don't recommend putting a crosswalk there and just, just have it uh, further down. Yeah. <clears throat> um, again, and, you know, this can be done as soon as you approve it, we will have it, you know, installed. <clears throat> So I would imagine that Kevin's just going to have to file an order that they install them at this point, because his order is just that he looks. Um, no, it doesn't have to be. You know, we'll, we'll take we'll take it from here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Make a motion to be complied with. All right. All in favor. Second. <clears throat> so you're gonna you, you're gonna uh, we can email back and forth again, but you, so you're gonna put those crosswalks in at where you suggest. Okay. Yeah. Are you still doing that? Or are you waiting till next spring? Or? Uh, we, we're still. Um, um, we've done some th thermoplastic uh, crosswalks um, in areas that we've just recently paved. Yeah, those are nice ones, right? The beads, the glass. Huh? Yep, well, last a little longer. Um, but uh, the, you know, we, we do ourselves the uh, actual paint, uh, at, you know, weather permitting. Yeah. Uh, we can we can we walk until in November. <clears throat> make a motion. We take item number eight off the table. Second. Um, okay, sure. Um, item number eight is an order. For, well, yeah, you're all set if you want to. Thank you. you know, yeah. Get those crosswalks up tonight, you know, have at it. <laughs> <laughs> How's the new guy? Did you want this? Yeah, did you want this back? We have a public work meeting tonight. Oh, you do? Oh. Didn't want to come for <laughs> Item eight is an order uh, filed by Councilor Roman that the city of Hoyoke centralize and consolidate within the fire department all lists of empty and abandoned buildings, providing access to its server to any and all departments who need it. We don't have that now. I make a motion. We took it off the table, right? Yes. What does this order mean? I don't know. I don't know. Want to just table it until he gets here? Yep. Make a motion. We take uh, table item number eight. Second. Okay, so you want to make a motion? We table eight, nine, and ten. Well, I have recommendations for eight, nine, and ten, actually. Yeah. Is there a second? I think you seconded it, right? So. Yeah. All right. So the motion on the table is to table item number eight. All in favor? Aye. All right. That was unanimous. Make a motion to take up nine. We. Second. Yeah. Uh, um. Uh, Item number nine is an order filed by Nelson Roman that the City of Holyoke Fire Department take over as the emergency dispatch for the city. Um, I know Nelson's not here, but the, the recommendation for eight, for nine, ten, and eleven basically was to give leave to withdraw, which I don't really necessarily have a problem with ten and eleven at this point. Um, I'm sorry, ten, um, but I do. I would re request that we. Would you use this package? Well, I want to keep nine. I don't. I don't want to give it leave to withdraw okay. um, because. The fire, the fire department is, is, is been, you know, with bated breath trying to get into this whole EMD system, and this is one way to do it, where if you call 911, the call goes to the police station. If you tell them it's a medical call, that call then goes to AMR. AMR then makes the decision whether or not they choose to call the fire department to send them out. Uh, you know, there are many communities, I looked into this, and I'll have a lot of information at the next council meeting, there are many communities that are, are funding 10 firefighters because they're making upwards of four and a half to five hundred thousand dollars a year just having the medical emergency dispatch which means if we put a firefighter in the police station where there or, or there's a button at the fire the, you call 911 it goes right to the police station the police station hits a button it goes to the fire department what's happening now is if it's a medical call it goes to amr if amr let's just say it's a guy in the road and he's drunk they might send the fire department because they don't want to have that headache of having to deal with that. AMR is making the decisions of who is going to these medical calls. They are dispatching the fire department if and when they choose to. And if there's no vehicles in the area, they'll call the fire department. If they decide there's a call for a woman who from a nursing home that needs to go to the hospital, which is an easy call as I'm learning, they'll go, they'll go to that call. We still don't have the power to transport, but I think it's a behooves us not to have the fire department in charge of where their vehicles are going as opposed to you know and they're based out of Springfield so basically the police department get 911 calls AMR in Springfield and they say hey we got a you know a, a guy in the road AMR either takes the call 
because they have a, an available uh, ambulance in Hoyoke or they will dispatch the fire department to that call. I don't think anybody should be telling the fire department where their vehicle should be going except the fire department. Yeah. So I have a real issue with that. It's a small piece. It's not getting the ambulances. It's not that. But throughout the state, you will see communities that are funding quite a few firefighters just on the money they are making on the emergency dispatch. Wow. It basically becomes the mayor's call. There's an RFP right out there right now with four different companies looking just to do the EMD. So it is there is there is money in it. There is a value to it. Again, my biggest concern is that you know why why are we letting some company out of Springfield tell us where the Holyoke Fire Department should be going? So should we table this? Yes. Okay. okay. We should table it. Second. All in favor? All right. All right. Take ten and eleven off the table. Make a motion. Take ten and eleven. Second. We would be ten. All right. Make a motion. Take ten. Yeah. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. Uh, Nelson Roman, the City of Hoyoke Fire Department serves as the basic life support ambulance for the City of Hoyoke. Nelson has let me know that he is willing to give this le leave to withdraw as the maker of the order. So I make a motion to give leave to withdraw. Second. I will say that this conversation about us doing an ambulance service has been on the table for about 15 years at least at this okay. point. But anyway, okay, so um, all in favor? This is originally Aye. All right. Um, I make a motion to take item number 11. Second. All in favor? Oh, man. The Board of Fire Commissioners, uh, an order filed by Councilor Sullivan, order that the Board of Fire Commissioners meet with the City Council to discuss the ongoing problems with the traffic signals. Um, well, nobody here from the Fire Commission. <laughs> uh, this is um, the second time I've asked for a, a, a Board of Commissioners to come before the City Council last month. Notified? Yes. Last, I, said, yeah. last, I believe they're notified, and the order's placed back in May. Uh, same with uh, Hoyo Gas and Electric last month. None of the commissioners show up. They left Jim Lavelle here on their own. Here we have, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five items on here to do with the fire department. Uh, no one from the Board of Commissioners here. Um, I don't understand this at all. Uh, I think we need to strengthen some of our boards or... Uh, take a look at uh, some people that can commit more time uh, that's necessary to do proper jobs with these boards um, this week we got a uh, I'm sorry last week I got an email from Warren Tangway uh, updating me on what they're doing about some of the uh, pull stations around town which which we feel is money that's not being wisely spent that could be used uh, towards uh, uh, taking care of the traffic signals which the, the fire department does um, I think this is one of the things that should be addressed through the Board of Fire Commissioners um, but uh, there's nobody here to have a discussion Wait, with so. how, how come the DPW I, I guess I don't yeah. understand why the uh, fire department does traffic signals I mean the fire department should be doing fires I think and the DP, or gas and electric rather should be doing I I agree. I, and once again, I, I think this is issues that should be being addressed by our fire commission. Um, maybe the gas and electric. Too. And gas and electric. And nobody wants to come talk to us about it. I, I will tell you that um, this agenda went out probably a week ago before it even went to um, Ryan. And I spoke to the chief both in person via email. I spoke to his deputy, Captain Jeff Preskopowski, and I spoke to Councillor Anthony Cerruti, um, or not Councillor, Captain Anthony Cerruti. They, they're all aware of, I mean, they saw the agenda. You know, I mean, I, I had an extensive conversation about the EMD services. So, I, I mean, um, Councillor Vacon? I was just wondering how the lights on all the way down High Street got fixed because when we had the meeting in the past we were told you couldn't get any replacement remember yeah, they were blinking for months and months and months and then all of a sudden miraculously they were working they are working so how did that happen well we can I got we can tell it's because I'm I, I intend to have a meeting in October about some of some of these that issue the EMD issue I mean I want the fire department or a commissioner to physically come in here I mean I love I love the fire department the police department but I mean you know when they want that grant money you know they're all they come in droves and they're they're this that and I mean you, you file an order asking them to appear you know they're aware of it <coughs> and, and you know we got an empty audience just as a point of information I want to say it was maybe four years ago now we did have a discussion with HG&E and the fire department 
about the management of the traffic lights and the fire department really wanted to keep it and hg and e agreed with them but i can't remember the details of the discussion at this point but it was raised because it does seem like kind of an odd thing in that department but it's a long-standing way of power control. that it's been done i think yeah so it might bear revisiting well yeah Why not? the last time we spoke if i may mm -hmm. of course uh the, the, um, we had a list of 10 critical intersections mm -hmm. to do the uh, lights, mm -hmm. but it was a question of financing. It was a question of money. Right. So I, we don't know if the money has been appropriated yet or not to fix those intersections. There was no money. That, that's part of the problem is, is, is the budget. If the money's there, the, the, the fire department will fix the problem. Well, some of them got fixed somehow. So I don't know. We'd have to find out if the money has been appropriated to do that. It was close to a million dollars, if I believe, you are correct. or a million dollars. You are correct. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking off the top of my head, but they agreed that they could take care of this situation, 10 critical intersections in the city, but they needed the money to do it. Now, have we appropriated the money or we have okayed that? It comes, I believe, from, from room one to, to, to pony up that money if, if, if it's there. I, I don't know that's, are, that's that were broken or working I don't know that's the last well, thing. They, they probably had I, I mean there was a city hall employee that got in an accident at High and Cabot I mean I know of three people personally that got in an accident at High and Cabot and now the lights are working so uh, right so I mean it, with with the maker's order I'd be more than happy to reach out to the chief and CC the commissioners and say that you know our feelings about this order you know and within the next month we're gonna have another meeting and we expect someone either from the alarm room, the commissioners, or whoever is going to be the spokesperson to, sh to make an appearance. Yeah, and, uh, you know, at the same time, be ready to address the issue as to why we're spending money that could be spent on these systems or reduce the cost of these systems, and, and meanwhile paying for an antiquated system that hasn't been used uh, uh, in over 20 years. You're talking right? about the pull stations? The pull stations. Now, what, what I'm... Well, the research I've done says there has not been a pull station call come in before a 9-11 call since 1994, yet we're still spending money maintaining these systems. This is, not, this is money that could be spent maintaining the traffic signals if that's what the fire department so desires or the gas and electric so desires, but money to maintain these systems that we said wasn't there is being, is being wasted. So. Can I just say one thing? I want to say that. Yes, sir. Uh, I just want to let you know that I did contact Councilor um, or Fire Commissioner uh, Patty Devine, and she said she wasn't notified about this meeting, and she would have been here. But I can't speak for anybody else. I don't know. Who, maybe they just, uh, Ryan just sent it to the uh, fire department itself. I, I don't know. But she just texted me. Councilor McGiver. Um, I, I think when we invite commissioners, we should invite commissioners, not, up to, not leave it up to the department head. Maybe just have Ryan email him just so it's not on uh, whoever the department that is um, shoulders. J just for your information, DGR met with the state delegates and uh, DCAM. We are on the short list, but we're talking probably two years out of uh, capital improvement for the entire downtown, updating the, the singles themselves, which is important because we don't have separate pedestrian cross um, ability to to have a separate pedestrian cross time cycle to allow people to cross people cross with the green light so if a car gets a green light the person crossing the same if you're going straight you're, you're going in the same direction as the car it's not a problem if the car is taking a turn they're turning right into the pedestrian but we are on a short list with the money approved but it's like two years out and and I <clears throat> understand all the arguments and I think it's time that we have a a roundtable discussion with everybody that's involved and how we can do it better and where to get the funds. Table it. Table it. Yeah. Motion to table it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, that's the agenda for my friends. Else? No. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? No. Thank you.